Okay, guys, so I'm gonna do that this demo, this tutorial uh, about OBS Studio. If you're broadcasting or run a stream, um, there are other software solutions, but I personally prefer OBS Studio because it can be customized, customized in a, such a, a technical, you know, level and a detailed level. So, um, if you want to use uh, OBS Studio, then you go to this website obsproject.com slash download and it's available for you know uh, three platforms windows mac and linux unix now um this is a this is a great software some of the versions actually caused me a lot of problems uh when they changed something things stopped working had to configure uh change a lot of settings but uh you can figure it out um but you need to be a little bit of a technical person most definitely now the point is uh, by default this software can only stream to one platform so you have to set it up for youtube or facebook or whichever you want to stream on live streaming but there is a, a plugin that i just uh, learned about probably it's been around for a long time actually it is and it's called uh, multiple rtmp outputs plugin as it shows it uh, 2020 so it's <laughs> yeah it's been around for a while i never knew it existed so anyways it's only available for windows by the way so it leads to this website here and uh this is the latest version it was released december 2 2nd uh, 2023 so uh, relatively uh, fresh uh japanese obviously and uh here are the options it's available for Luni, linux and uh, windows uh, source code is available or uh, zip I, I i personally use the installer for me that's that's the easiest simplest way and uh yeah when you do that basically uh it creates an extra panel now this is obvious studio right here that i'm moving right here and uh the great thing about it that about this software is that every single one of these blocks can be customized so i can i can remove it and put it somewhere else if i want to right right here right there replace that area or this area wherever i want i personally prefer to put it here and after installation this is the block that we receive when you add a new target it opens up and it gives you the url and stream key options now in uh, facebook for example if i want to do a live stream then i click on uh, live video mode and it brings down uh, this control panel right now go live and it gives me an option whether I want to do a camera live or a, a streaming software. For a, st a streaming software, you're going to find the stream key for your channel. So, and also persistent stream key, just click on it, make sure it's the same and stays the same until you decide to uh, change it for whatever reason if you want to and there is the server url and just copy and paste into this software when you add this uh, url and uh, stream key information okay you can leave the rest here alone because you already uh, set up your obs studio the stream software and the output details uh video bitrate etc etc for a HD or, or full HD, I would say four to 5,000 kilobits per second is plenty enough, but I'm streaming in much higher resolution, so I, I set it up to higher. And, but you can customize everything in this. That's why I like it. Yes, it's complicated a little bit, and you have to add the various sources, for example, image uh, source, as you can see, is the Mr. G Eclipse. It's a GIF image right here it shows 
uh, or the game itself or display capture whether make it visible or, or non-visible so yes you can customize everything so it's, it's incredibly good and now with this uh, extra plugin you can add additional sources now bear in mind that uh try it a new one no excellently yeah uh that uh when you're streaming whatever kilobit per second you set obviously when you add another one or another one or another one you have to have the bandwidth for those because the same stream uh will be applied over there as well so make sure that you have at least 100 megabit or 200 megabit or something for multiple streams if you want to do at least 10 15 20 megabits per second stream to be sure that uh, it's, it's not just what you're streaming but also the game itself uh downloads and uploads simultaneously information when you're playing or streaming uh, a game for example so yeah you must have plenty plenty of uh, uh, bandwidth okay but if you do that if and if you have that then you can set up multiple uh, platforms now i set up my facebook and my facebook uh, mr g account here so yeah and uh yep that's that's what i need if i want to stream and uh if uh, this information is correct let's do, check it if it's correct this is the stream key i'm gonna go here to mr g modify stream key let's delete that and uh, copy paste the new one as well as check the server url let's delete it just for formality and copy paste and okay so theoretically now i'm ready to stream on uh, at least two or three sources simultaneous platforms si simultaneously this one uh, this basic is set up for me uh, for youtube so i don't have to add youtube here on the top uh, control panel on the right side of obs studio because the the main uh, default setting is already includes this this setting already includes youtube so this is what you have to start start streaming automatically stops uh, starts the recording as well so again be mindful if you don't want to record a game because uh, it's very texting texting on the on the cpu and the video card as well if your system is not strong enough then just stop the recording and just stream okay and uh, here as well so start this one and then it's stabilized for example in my case for youtube then uh, you can start separately the second or third uh, platform as well and then you can go and check um if uh, that particular stream which is supposed to appear here starts now when it shows up it on the left side it says connect video source second complete post details and third go live now what happens is you start here on the right side will be a studio let's see i'm starting for youtube right that's the easiest one then i for mr g i start here over here it will, will not start automatically it just acknowledges that this streaming software is operates and this secondary will uh, share the stream on a secondary platform okay so now we have to come here and wait until this shows that the uh, streaming software connects after that you have to click here and create a title and description otherwise it will not work on the left side there's a green lighting like uh, indication here green here and then this go live at the lower uh, left side when it shows go live this it cannot be clicked right now however when the first and second uh, is completed point then the go live goes to this bluish color and you can start uh, the stream and it will be activated and then when you go to your page your main page 
over there it's gonna show up as a new message or, or a new post the live stream itself okay so it's that, that's the way it operates and uh, now i'm gonna do a demonstration but first i just wanted to go through the technical details of the software itself and the streaming software with the interface on by the way on youtube it's the same so this is my uh, control panel and uh you have to add the streaming soft, uh, you know stream url and uh the key to the main stream information window right here so the output so and everything over here i just selected youtube and the primary youtube server so it sets everything okay so that's easier facebook is a little bit more complicated but this is the basic software and this is the basic settings and the information you need on youtube as, as well as on in this case uh facebook if you want to stream the same video let's say gaming on both platforms simultaneously okay one two three four five testing testing and uh theoretically we should receive a stream very fast in a couple of seconds yes it showed up now in obs studio what we need to do is uh, I'm gonna move this window in front of the game and in live streaming we already have a YouTube uh, control panel for the stream active so we can see it, it it's working and the live producer from uh, Facebook is also receiving the signal so this time dual streaming so the connect video source worked. We completed uh, the post details by uh, adding information. Oops, uh, adding information right here. So I edited the post details. The multi-stream test testing simultaneous YouTube plus Facebook video uh, game streaming using OBS Studio multi-stream plugin. So this is the actual uh, test of the plugin itself. And now, if we go click on go live right here, then momentarily we should be able to start streaming as a secondary stream on Facebook as well. And let's check it out. We go to our page, let's reload it. And if everything goes well, yep, there's the stream. So now we're streaming on Facebook as well as YouTube simultaneously with this plugin. So that's very, very interesting and very, very good. But again, please bear in mind that you must have enough bandwidth, not only for your stream, but for the game as well, which may require a substantial amount of bandwidth for downloading the information as, and uploading the information from the server and to the server obviously uh, to connect the other players or the game itself but this is how it operates once you figured it out it's very very simple and uh, in obs studio you just have to activate i'm gonna up, pull it up as well this one was activated first i started the streaming this activated the recording as well, which I'm doing right now. And then I started uh, the Facebook Mr. G channel stream within uh, OBS Studio plugin. And now we activated all the details here. It is the control panel. And this is where we can end the live stream on Facebook. Meanwhile, we are active on YouTube as well. So everything seems to be okay. And I'm going to double check the recording and if everything goes well, I'm going to do the video editing and put it out as a tutorial for you guys as well. Because this way it makes it very, very simple to stream and broadcast your uh, video uh, platform, whatever you do, on multiple platforms simultaneously with this free plugin. OBS Studio is free and the plugin is free as well. Okay, let's see. And uh, I'm going to do a little video editing and then I'm going to upload this tutorial.
Sleep, Doctor.